Like, when did it all begin? Um, it started when, uh, after I had my second son, who is now nine, soon to be 10 years old. So shortly after I had him, uh, my hair just started thinning and coming out pretty bad. I never had those problems before. I've always had perms for years. Um, and no matter what I did, it just would not come back. So I had a, a, a ball or a patch at the crown of my head that uh, pretty much didn't have very much hair there. And uh, went to a couple of beauticians trying to get some help because it's so embarrassing to be sitting, for somebody to be sitting behind you and you don't have any hair in the crown area. That's just embar embarrassing. So I did go to a couple of people trying to get some assistance and they were not too hopeful about it. Um, then the, I was blessed enough to run across Precious and um, didn't have any idea what I was in for, but she definitely was an answer to my prayers, or you definitely were an answer to my prayers. So uh, in the, in the first moment I came in contact with you and told you the problem, you just were so positive and you were speaking and so hopeful and and just uplifting about the whole situation and not at one point in time did you ever make it seem like oh it's a total loss and so that was so encouraging and so i did decide to go natural um just to get rid of all the chemicals and perms and give my hair a chance in that sense and you just assisted me i think i came to you once every two or three weeks and in a very short amount of time i would say i don't know you probably know better than me but about the second visit at least I, I, I could I noticed a difference and hair started growing like right away so you were trimming it that was your whole answer and solution to it that you were just gonna wash it condition it and I believe you were just keeping it trimmed and little to no time it was to my amazement I had <laughs> I had hair and so excited about it so now I have hair all over the place and that's pretty much my I mean I have her clean down my back but Precious is keeping it trimmed and you're keeping it up for me um, but that is pretty much my hair journey I had no hair in the crown of my head after my second son um, and could not get it to grow back and decided okay I better take this perm out and give it a chance and the minute I did that and I found the right person that was positive and you just washed it, conditioned it faithfully for me and trimmed it. I mean, in little to no time, I'm not exaggerating. I had hair and it's been growing ever since. I had no problem with it at all. So what does hair symbolize for you? Because, you know, a lot of people are attached to their hair. Their hair is like their identity. So when you lose hair, um, it's really devastating. It does something to you mentally. And you know that, of course, because like you said, it was missing in the crown. So you were fe already feeling some type of way. But So what, what, what was that experience? Like, can you talk a little bit more about that? Like, how do you feel about that? Well, to me, hair represents your know, feminine side. It was it represents um, beauty to me. Um, um, it represents self esteem, yeah, confidence. You know, if you so that's what hair represents to me. If you have thin hair or missing hair, your confidence and self esteem is not as high as it should be because you, in the back of your mind, you're always thinking, "Oh man, people noticing this." So just kind of, you don't have the confidence. I know I didn't have the confidence, uh, and I'd like to think I'm a pretty confident person, but uh, I just totally was lacking confidence when my hair was gone at that point in time, and I could, I could feel my self-esteem uh, lowering when I didn't have, you know, hair there, because it was noticeable. You know, my hair wasn't as full as it should have been, and it was quite noticeable. So hair means, it represents beauty to me. It, it represents everything that's feminine. Uh, to me, I think you probably hit the nail on the head. Maybe that's it. It's the femininity, just the essence of it. Yeah. Um, so, as you were coming to me, like, what was your um, diet like and lifestyle? Because we also mm -hmm. talked about that, and I was making sure you were drinking your water mm -hmm. and taking your supplements. So, what was 
that like like the regimen that I had you on was it hard to follow like what were you some of the things that you were doing to help along with um, you know coming on a regular basis for me to do your hair so like what were you doing at home the at home part the food part mm -hmm. um the I whole did wellness part the whole I did um, purchase me some multivitamins at your uh, <laughs> advise me <laughs> if I can say that's a word but I did get some multivitamins um and um just kept trying to drink plenty of fluids plenty of fluids um uh, and just stayed away from from the heat before his diet yeah I, I I added to my diet my multivitamins I had ran out some time ago I, um and just didn't think anything about replacing them so I added my multivitamins and just tried to watch and be more intentional on my water intake and just try to take in more fluids. That's good. Now were you, um, I was gonna say, what about exercising? Because I know that's kind of big too. Like some mm -hmm. people don't want to exercise because they don't want to mess their hair up. They mm -hmm. just got it done. So weren't you able to still walk and do your normal activities? Um, like I know even though you still have the kids, mm -hmm. but I think you guys were still going to your little events and oh, getting yeah. outside walking and going mm -hmm. to the parks and things. I was uh, walking, I had started walking, written a track and I had also right. um, started walking um, uh, my son's, uh, the playground, the track that they had around the playground, but I didn't have much problem for sweating because with you washing and conditioning, um, the hair wasn't reverting or anything, so. And that was with you being natural. With being, I know, so unbelievable. <laughs> Okay. Um, is there any other encouraging words that you want to give or share with anyone that may be in that spot where you used to be? Because it's always better if they can hear from somebody else's testimony, you know, versus somebody that does this. I'm not making this stuff up. But do you have anything that you could share that could be encouraging to them? Mm -hmm. I think I would probably say if somebody that was in the same predicament uh, as I was in at that time is there is hope <laughs> don't lose hope because if you lose hope <laughs> you're in trouble but um i would say don't lose hope you just really have to find that right person but the biggest thing is don't lose hope somebody out there um could help you and i found my somebody thank god but don't lose hope there is hope for your hair um just minor changes to your diet uh, multivitamins, fluid intake, just being more intentional on the things that you're doing to your hair and the things that you're putting in your body. Um, there's hope. Well, thank you, Joy, for your time and just sharing your words with me. I very much appreciate it. This is Precious Rutland, trichologist and the hair growth redoc regrowth doctor, signing off. Thank you.